Hi, it's Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees. Today's July 27, 2021. I just got a shipment of 30 uh, New World Carniolan Queens overnighted. Just opened the package. Looks like they're all alive and doing well. And uh, the very first thing I want to do is give them a drink of water. And I just simply uh, dip my finger, just dip my finger in a little cup of water and just rake it over that hole. The surface tension of the water will stick to the hole. That'll give the bees and the queens something to drink. It's going to be a hot one today. It's supposed to be in the, in the mid 90s. The heat index around 105 to 110. So basically, I'm just making sure that each one of those has plenty of water. All right, so everybody's got a shot of water. Ease the box back closed. I'm going to leave this in here while I get set up. And I'll come back every couple hours and make sure they've got water. I think it's important to put your queens inside and keep them in the dark. D definitely out of direct sunlight because it, today it's already 90 degrees out there and it's like 10 o'clock and this that heats a lot of stress on them. So basically I'm going to get everything set up and I'm going to come up here and get these queens and install them. So they'll have minimal disturbance and minimal stress in the heat. But I just got in... Uh some New World Carniolan Queens, and I got, uh, I believe, 17 colonies here. I'm gonna try to get uh, at least 25 nukes off of these 17 colonies here. And uh, I've done this the hard way in years past where I'd go through col each colony and, and hunt for the queen, but after last year, I learned I had to do something different, and I've learned some new stuff uh, watching some other folks. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do this year that it's gonna be a little bit of work to it now, but tomorrow when I in the morning when I come in here and take, harvest my frames, it'll be a lot quicker and a lot easier. But what I'm gonna do is sort out the resources in these colonies, put another deep up here, and then put a queen excluder under there. And then overnight the nurse bees will come up there with a the brood and then tomorrow I can just pluck those nurse bees and the resources out and put in my nukes. Uh, nurse bees is what I want in there with them new queens. They're a lot less apt to reject a queen or baller and killer. I have almost 100% success rate in queen acceptance by doing by using nurse bees and, and trying to take the field force out of the equation. Uh, so this is the first time I've really kind of done this. I'll probably be a little slow, so but let me show you what I'm going to do. So this colony here has a lot of bees, a lot of summer bees left, and I'm going to take advantage of those as well. I've got all the honey pulled off, so now's a good time to start feeding them some light sugar water. And I might be able to get some more cones drawn out before the end of the season. Yeah, we have a lot of bees here. So I've got some empty combs here. I just slung out. They were honey bound. So first thing I'm going to do is get all these frames out. A lot of bees in here, so this definitely is not going to hurt this colony to split it up some. So we got some cap brood and resources right here. That's going to make me a good nuke, nuke frame. I basically want to uh, brood as cap and starting to emerge. And a little bit of some young larva too to draw the bees and the nurse bees up in there. We got brood of all ages there, including a little bit of uh, pollen and honey on that one. Probably gonna get about two nukes worth out of this box. It's uh, in very good shape. Those wet combs are empty, so there'll be a lot of space for the queen to start laying back. But 
I'm briefly looking for the queen. A lot of bees. A lot of bees right here. Loading the resources back in the box. And we have some wet frames here that will add to their nukes. We'll look carefully, make sure the queen's not on that inner cover or the top. And she's not. And there it is, that's how I'm going to sort them out. Basically left a couple frames of brew down there and some resources and moved everything upstairs and put on some empty comb to go ahead and recover in. Plenty of bees here. The nectar flow is pretty much over. So take advantage of this high population and start us some new colonies that will be in good shape for next spring. So I'm gonna pause the video right here and we'll pick it up in the morning. And I'll show you how I'm gonna get the nuke situated. All right, it's the next day, so now we're ready to go back in here and harvest our resources. And I have a five frame nuke here ready to go, and I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm gonna take out of this double deep here. And again, I have a queen excluder down here, and I pulled up my mostly capped brood that's ready to merge, because I want nurse bees to go on my new queens. Mostly capped brood right there, and uh, the attached nurse bees, so. Definitely want that in here. A frame of food. Another frame of emerging bees is also a little bit of food and pollen on here. Then I'll have an empty frame. So that's all the resources I'll put in that one. I got a Go get a frame of foundation. I'm going to put a foundation in there. I'll be able to make at least one more nuke out of this uh, amount of bees right here. So that's very good. All right, I'm going to put a small piece of uh, pollen supplement on here. I want to be sure that the nurse bees have adequate nutrition, even though there's quite a bit of resources in there already. So this will give the bees something to do as they emerge out. Now it's been real hot here lately, so the supplement's pretty gooey. So here's my my queen. This would be the last thing I do. I'll insert the cage down here. Make a little room. So I want to get it right in between a couple of frames of emerging brood. And hopefully in a couple of days she'll be out. And now I'm going to put my bucket feeder on here. So that's one of them. I got arranged. We'll be coming back here in a few days, probably about a week. See if the queen's got out. And See if she's out laying doing her business. So with all, if all goes well, I'll have 25 brand new nukes to get prepared for next spring and some of the new equipment I'm putting together. So here we are at the conclusion of my splitting process. I've got 25 nukes. They all seem to have good resources. I've, I've put pollen supplement and a gallon of feed on them. Had a little bit of a robbing issue down here. I'm gonna have to tape these entrances up for a little while. I put out some sugar water over there in my community feeder so once the bees get on that they should pretty much abandon this which they've really greatly cut down the traffic but again i got 25 nukes with good resources and nurse bees and a new queen and hoping to add this to my operation next spring so i, I ordered 30 queens and i got uh i've re, re five of these colonies and hopefully if all goes well i'll be starting me two or three new yards next spring
And we'll check back on these in a week to 10 days and see how many of these took and how they're doing. Be nice to get 100% acceptance here, but on the other hand, I'll be surprised if I do, but hopefully we'll get 25 or so. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I appreciate you for joining me for this video today, and we'll see you next time.